You lost a shoe? I lost a shoe. Okay. Hi there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 1309 hours on Monday, March 21st, 2016. And we are doing pre-production cleaning for the Big Jeff upgrades tomorrow. Ready? I'm good. I have to butt. I'm better now. You still have a shoe. <laughs> I, I have two shoes. Take black things, there's more over here. There's one there. There's one there. So we've got to get everything cleaned out and just ready because the whole Jeff thing is going to be a huge video shoot and we're bringing out all the cameras and full crew. It's nice, we haven't got to do a big epic like MDH video shoot since like the forklift. Like we did a f autopsy on a forklift a while back. That, that was a big deal. So this is going to be a whole production thing because we're going to be working there. We're going to do a lot of setup stuff on the robot. It's going to be, it's going to be epic. There's, you're going to want to tune into the live stream tomorrow at 1 o'clock. It's going to be a lot to see. Pre-production starts at noon tomorrow for camera setup. Actual video shoot starts at 1. So tune in on the live stream tomorrow. The link is below in the description. Um, along with the Patreon link if you're interested in helping out on the blog, which would be really cool because I actually have to spend the next Patreon check on getting a new blog camera. This one has gone to stage three of its death where now it no longer charges the batteries. Also, there's a weird little red glow up in the thing. It never did that before, so that's new. So this camera's on its last legs. I would like to replace it and best case, I could get a Mark IV. I hear the Mark IV shoots high-speed video. It's only like a thousand frames at like potato resolution, but it'd be kind of cool. I got a lot of mileage out of this blog camera. It's treated me really well. This is a, I think it's an RX. Let me see, what does that say? It's a uh, DSC RX100, and it's just the RX100. This is the old Mark I. You could buy this camera for like 300 bucks nowadays. Um, there's the Mark II, which is, I'm at least getting a Mark II. The four does the high speed stuff and that's that's kind of cool. I don't know. Comment in. Do some research. You guys can help out. I definitely want to get one of the RX 100s. What mark do I want to get? Two, three, or four? And why? What would you choose? You're paying for it so you guys should get a voice in the matter. Um, I want to thank, well I'm thinking of Patreon because I forgot about him the other day. Um, Rabbit Hole. There's a lot of ways you could take that but Rabbit Hole joined in on the Patreon so thank you sir for helping out. Oh that's sexy. Look at that. See, that's, that's a damn fine position encoder there. That turns me on. Look at that. What was full of lies? Huh? There's a sticker on them. It's a fan blade. They're pretty serious about what it actually weighs. They, they take that serious. You want to take that and put it somewhere? So I can go up to the print shop. All of it? Yep. Yep, yeah, everything on the cart goes down to robotics. That's all part of the thing. Okay, that's a good idea. Radio works, that is all of the blades headed out. Alright, gentlemen, what is your name? Your what? Your Glenn. Glenn, you're lovely. Okay, could you gentlemen please Take everything on that cart, it goes down into a specific pile in robotics. Moose will show you where. All of that stuff has to stay together because there's like 10,000 moving parts in that thing. Not this cart. Not, follow her. That cart. Hey Chris, yeah. we're done with the fans. We're done with the fans, which is what I said on the radio. Fence. fence. What? Yes, do you have anything else we're putting in the fence? No, we're cool. Okay. okay. Is computer <clears throat> things are robotics also? Or do they Those are robotics. Those are power supplies for Larry Curly and Mo. And now you know. Jerry, come here, sir. Oh, okay. Take anything here down to robotics. Thank you, sir. We're going to move a lot of stuff. I'll be back. All kinds of cleaning and progress, and man, all I need is about, you know, a 50,000 square foot warehouse, and we'd have plenty of room for stuff. I'm, I'm not asking a lot. So I heard tell 
that there's ice cream dudes here, which is kind of cool. This is something you guys would be happy about. Do, do, do. Kill the tunes. Kill the tunes. So we've got Mexican ice cream. No, you just got a Hispanic freezer. We have we have a Hispanic freezer. With American ice cream. With American ice cream. Okay. I was used to use a four basket, and these 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 things run. They got nice. Okay. Lighting with them. Cool. I'm I'm cool with that. The three tier one that didn't work for me. I'm glad it didn't work now because these things never break. They just. What's what's that for? On the, on the back? Yeah. Okay. Do we get a sign for the window for ice cream? I'll bring you one. Yeah, I'll put put a sign one. in the window. We'll we'll let people know we got ice cream. I'm cool with that. It doesn't hurt to let the neighbors know. Yeah. Rose well, Bowl across the street, it gets hot out in the summer, all you can do is run over to the deep club and get ice cream. Yeah. That's lovely. These are cute freezers. Have the covers on them. And that'll kick back a lot easier if you don't run over the thing. Okay, you might have to go yeah. back. Well, yeah, I think we might be tight. Oh, you got you got lots of room. You got a. It, there you go. Cool. Cool. So that's the cooler. When does the ice cream show up? It's, it's in the truck. It's coming. Oh, okay. Check it out. All right, I'm gonna get back on moving stuff. All right, I'll be back. Okay. I got the ticket. All right, guys, so time is 15.56 hours, and some fun news for all my high-voltage friends. We have this here, this beautiful Staco regulated power supply, which its original purpose in life is you put about 208 into it, um, three-phase, about, and it gives you damn on 208 three phase out and uh, it's got a beautiful set of variax a quad stack set no six stack look at that one two three four five six stack set of variax with big transformer back there balancing chokes the whole nine you can adjust the voltage all over the place so it's it's three phase 208 240 220 anything in that regard and it's beautiful. It works. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. We just have no use for it because we've we've surpassed this. We have the nine stack, the triple triple. So if anybody's interested, this is going to be going up on our eBay store. We're going to be selling it surplus. And I know a lot of you guys like to play with high voltage, so check it out. And when uh, when it goes public, it'll be easy to find. Just look up our Facebook or our uh, eBay store. All right, we're rolling. All right, so. A lot of people, hi Dominic, a lot of people have been messaging me a lot about the big video shoot tomorrow. We're not just doing Ethernet. Let me tell you a story. This is a KR1 control cabinet. Inside it, in the top, normally you would have Oh, this one goes out. <laughs> you, you would have servo amplifiers. Now these are three servo amplifiers, and, and that's all I'm going to show you because I'm not really allowed to show you the details in the cabinet. Down here, I can a little bit because in this KR1 cabinet, now normally in a KR1 cabinet, you'd open this up and you'd have a floppy drive and a CD-ROM drive and, and a couple buttons here for, because there's a there's a PC computer inside here. There's, there's a PC. Normally, you'd have those right here. However, see this one goes that way. <laughs> that one goes that way. <laughs> it's prototype, what do you expect? Prototype, okay. <laughs> so down here, you have, and you can see it says right there, type KC1, right? Now, that, as you can tell by the fact that the power supply sits down here and the hard drive sits down here, is not a KC1 computer, that's a KC2 computer. 
Now there's a lot of people that'll tell you, including KUKA, it is not physically possible to put a KC2 computer in a KC1 case. And those people would be right, but I'm not that smart and I'm not a robotics engineer. And I'm not smart enough to know that you can't put a KC2 computer in a KC1 case, which is why, if you look up here, you want to get a shot of this, you'll notice there's the keyboard spots for a, an AT, a PS1 keyboard, and yet this has a PS2 in here and a motherboard that sits a little cockeyed because the very distinct marks of an angle grinder have been used to make an AT, a, a PS2 computer fit into an AT case. So this, we have a dream. We have a plan, and it's going to be the best damn plan you ever did see. Our problem is, we can do better. So what we're going to do tomorrow is not install Ethernet, because Dominic Vogel assures me it has Ethernet. Dominic Vogel doesn't know, because if you look now, you are a legit computer person, right? Okay, come here. I'm going to open this up. This one goes this one. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we should make a now, sign. Open this up. Now look. Do you see an Ethernet port? Serial, no Ethernet. Serial, serial, USB, which the operating system can't see anyway. Yeah. Parallel, MPS2. No Ethernet. Now, if we look over here, on the back of that card, you see a VGA port and nothing else, right? No. Okay, you concur. Yes. You can see the entire card, and there's a VGA port yeah. no. and nothing else. Now, if we look over here, there's only one other card in the computer, and you can see a bus and an AUI, which may or may not be Ethernet, but no actual Ethernet port, right? Okay, there is no other cards in the computer, correct? Correct. Okay, so there is not, despite what Mr. Vogel will have you believe, an Ethernet port in this computer, which I have opened up several times for on the blog, and yet he still insists there's Ethernet. It's a lot. So what we're going to do, you and I, together, we're going to take that computer out completely. We're going to build another computer with a virtual machine, and we're going to put the whole image on a virtual machine. That's the dream. Do you share this dream? Do you Very believe much in so. this dream? Okay. Very much so. That's the plan. Okay. It's going to be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, God. Okay. It's going to be fun. This is all going to happen on the live stream. There will be a production video. We're setting up a whole shoot. There's going to be like 50 cameras in here. But this is also going to be happening on the live stream tomorrow at 1300 hours Eastern Time. So we'll be doing setup at noon. The actual shoot starts at 1. I strongly recommend you tune in. It's going to be a show. We'll be back. Also okay, you're recording and the camera is in your hand. Thank you. Bleep, be gentle, that thing's on its last legs. Okay. I, I knew one of yours was passwords once upon a time, but I don't think he uses it anymore. Not, not that was not happy. Look at that. Ah. Here you go. Wait. Sorry. Picture mode. I don't know how. To... Come on, stop. All I'm really needing is. Why are you so mean to that poor dog? That that's not gonna work. Not not gonna work. No. <laughs> Freaking out the dog. I know, I'm an evil bastard. He, he's freaking out the dog. Come here, here, puppy. I was trying to set up the new Come magic here, trick. Come here, puppy. I was trying to set up the new magic trick. He's mean to you. I know. It's true. Yeah, but you went to crown college. I'll protect you from the bad guys. So? I'll, I'll protect you. Got, now you got shots on. Put the inside of the container, too. You so I weighed her. You weighed her? What'd she weigh? Fifty and a half pounds. You weigh fit. You're a big dog. You're the big dog. You're literally a big dog. No, she's a big dog. 
medium large dog. Minkus is a big dog. She's small. She's a big dog. I had a big dog at 125 pounds. Hey, Moose. Yes. What's Mackie weigh? 20 and a half. Yeah. Big dog goes rough. You got schmutz on your ass. The inside of that box needs to be scraped out and the shitty old rotten foam needs to be thrown And, and I just gave the dog a bath, too. The dog needs a bath. It's an awful human being. The dog needs a bath. She eats every once in a while out of that. All right, what can we do next? What manner of awesome productivity can we bring forth? Uh, I'm filling out for the Oh, cool. Okay. There's a line. Why is this going into macro? Oh, that's why. There. There. Now we're shooting video in proper formats again. That's way more better. So. I need your help. We have this. It is a Whirlpool duet thing. What the hell's the model number? Tell me your model number. Hmm. Well, normally that kind of thing would be written on the back. Oh, here. Maybe that'll help. Does that give you guys any information? Okay. So it has this motor, which I want to know more about. And I want to be able to drive the motor directly. Ah, oh, what should be? Uh, here, maybe, maybe you can read that. Does that give you any useful data at all? Or is that just a warning sticker? I think that's the one we want. Focus, you fuck. There, oh. Okay, does that give us any useful data? I don't know. It's buried way down in the machine. Um, so, yeah. I want to be able to drive that motor directly. Because I want to have some fun with this. I want to do something dirty to it. Dirty, dirty things to it. But I need to be able to drive that motor without all of the intervening stuff. <laughs> Can you tip this on its chains? Yeah. I'm guessing it probably won't like that, but go further. Okay, so here's the motor. No markings on this side. How many wires has it got going to it? It's got... Big wire, big wire, big wire, two little wires. That could be... You should uh, just be able to drive right off of those guys. Could be a three-wire brushless. With a couple heat sensors in there, probably. Heat or speed. Yeah, so... Let's, let's see if I can get a look down below it. That's the bottom of the motor. I'm just going to put this right the hell down. Maybe maybe we can see something. Well, there's a label here on the top. Sure to get that. Yeah, I got the label as good as I could. There isn't a lot to see. Yeah, there's not much. There's on a label on this side. Three-phase induction motor Ooh. for automatic washer. 195 volts, five amps. Uh, I think that's 820 watts. Yeah, 820 watts. Yeah. 310 hertz. Jeez. Here, take this a second. I just got a giant spoon. <laughs> oh, those are tweezers. Yeah. I've seen them on your thing. I was like, what the hell are they? Little tweezers. Oh, oh, oh. Big sliver off the back of the thing. That's yeah, way better now. Yeah, these are tweezers. You like that? Yeah, that's pretty neat. These are the tweezers with pinpoint precision. Uncle Bill's silver sliver gripper. You put them on there, and it's got a little keep fold for it. 
Yeah. Slip it through a thing, squeeze it down nice. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they're, they're cool. I like them. Yeah. So, all right, what, what do we got here? 820 watts. Yeah, 820 and, watts. 310 hertz. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 17,500 RPM. Yeah. Made in Slovakia. Techno Slovakia? That's 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 the name of my Daft Punk cover band, Techno Slovakia. You like that? So it should right. just be we, we cut wires and we get a, a power supply that can run higher voltages and amperage and just overdrive the fucker until it explodes. I might be able to run that off an ESC. Yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's um, the hopes. So the, the That'd be thing, the easiest thing. The real trick that we gotta figure out is can you buy this belt in different links? Maybe. Let's see if we can find any I oh here's belt information. Okay. There's a. Okay. What I want, Batman, is a bigger pulley here, like way bigger. I'd like 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 a six inch pulley here on this shaft. So that's like a half inch shaft. I'm sure we can find the shaft thing on now that we know the motor info. But I want to up this to like a six inch pulley, and I want to put a longer belt on it to match for the pulley. Right. And I want to be able to drive the motor directly. And I want to be able to spin this drum. Way higher than it currently is. Now, it's going to put a bigger load on the motor by having a bigger pulley. But I don't want to spin it full of clothes. I just want to spin the drum empty. Right. Minkus, come here. So we got a washing machine. I see this. And there's been a lot of people on the internet doing dirty, dirty things to washing machines with like bricks and potatoes and shit like that. I want to do something different. I want to kill a washing machine geek group stuff. Okay. So what I want to do? We gotta find this belt in a longer length. I wanna put a six inch pulley here, okay? Because the motor goes to 17,000 RPMs. That's a lot of rip'ems. Right. I wanna put a six inch pulley on here. I wanna put this thing out in a safe environment. And I wanna see if we can simply overspeed it to the point of catastrophic structural Failure. deformation. I want to have the, the drum fling apart and I think that'd be fun as hell. No practical reason, just for shits and giggles. But I think it'd be fun. Bonus points if we can get a high speed shot at the moment it comes apart. That'd be pretty cool. So we gotta figure out how to swap that pulley, get a bigger belt, and drive that motor. IRC, get on this. If you have intelligent ideas on how to be a part of this, get in irc.thegeekgroup.org and talk with the guys. Pressed on there. Is it is it just pressed? Do you see that that pulley down there? Is this? Yeah. This has a nut, but that's yeah. just. Oh, I that's didn't know if there was like a lock thing. No. We'd have to spin it to see. Um, there's yeah, there's there's no flat key or anything. That's okay. that's a press fit. All right, that's easy to get off. Heat it and it'll pop right out. It's probably shrink fit. And we gotta figure out how to drive the motor. Pulley, and if we can drive the motor with just an ESC, oh my god. But I gotta find an ESC with voltages that high. Also, if I find out that we can drive washing machine motors with just a regular ESC, oh my god, did our world get exciting. Because <laughs> it's 17,000 RPM. I got props that'll fit that. I got like a 24 inch prop downstairs. Yeah, are we going to be putting uh, toddlers up in the air? Yes. Dogs and cats, duh. 24-inch prop, man. I can build an RC plane to fly in. That'd be pretty fun. <laughs> a little plane, but, you know, I can do a lot with foam. Hey, All you, right. you, you've heard what happened to John Denver, right? No. He died in a, was plane it plane crash, crash or skiing? Plane crash. Was plane crash? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a kit, kit plane. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, that's a good way to go. I mean, on the list of ways that you're most likely to die, I'll take death in the airplane that Slamming I built. in the mountains, the Rocky Mountains. Yeah. And singing John Denver song. Well, he wasn't Rocky Mountain high enough. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Huh? When you said that you wanted wires 
out. No, you take the wires right out. Back in, but I didn't. Well, it was referring to the nut. You loosen this. You take the wire out. You put this back in. Just, er, okay. just, just hand snug. Scrap? Huh? Scrap? The wire? Yeah. Yeah. Put the wire in the scrap wire bin and hold yeah, it. The top row, all the way to the right. Oh, okay. The wire bins, top row, all the way to the right. That's scrap wire. That's, okay. that's a big wire, and we might actually use that somewhere. And if we don't, we have to control it and we'll scrap it up. Nope. 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 Big gas meter. Nope. Nope. Is it well it shut? Nope. Mm, it's just really Give me a ball peen and a uh, cold chisel. Nope. Nope. That's gonna be cool. Uh, yeah, there's a new intern. He's cool. He's a nice guy. Is that him? Yeah, yeah that guy. That. Yeah, that's the guy. Ed. That's, that's the guy. Okay. Yeah. Stop! Don't go up here. That's a different no, no, piece. I'm going, you I'm want going all right. right there. There's, there's a little bit of schmutz there. Yeah, it's a gasket. <laughs> it's open. There you go. That's, that's quite the sound. That's when when the when the frequency drops, you're there. When the bass drops. Oh, look at that. Oh. It is. It is. It's oh, just bigger. Look at that. that is glorious. Oh, kick ass. This is gonna be so cool. It smells like a little like gas for some reason. It does. That's cool. If you want to see what, if you want to see this working, go up in the front lobby. Yeah. You yeah. Now cool. we're about to have a much bigger one from cool. this newer one too. This is '72. Ooh. That's that's practically brand new. Take this. That stinks. Yeah. Stinks bad. Half? No. Mm -hmm. Grab from the bottom row, those are regular hex. Those are 12 points you're grabbing. That make you happy there? Yeah, well, if you're putting in the impact, yeah. Security wire thing happening. Safety wire. I'm guessing it's more of a tampering wire. Than yeah, yeah, it's a tampering wire. But it's it's a standard safety wire thing that you see in an aircraft. Have you ever seen uh, Agent, I think it's Agent Jay-Z or something like that, Agent Z, does the jet engine videos? No, I have not. Cool dude, you should watch his stuff. Alright. I'm gonna take safety wire out of this one. Safety wire is integral into that. So I'll need a wire cutter. Right. Good enough. <laughs> you like that? This thing's a beast. Yeah, this is cool. Now I want I, I, I want one of the turbine ones. I really, really, really want one of the turbine ones. I need a big straight blade screwdriver here.
Hey Katie, where am I? Or is Jesse still around? All right. Uh, stand on the table over there, please. Okay. Hop up. Stand on the table. Okay. Hand her the camera. Thank you. Down one. All right, Batman unscrew those. For once, I'm taller than all of you. It's the small things. You are definitely you one are of those. the small things. <laughs> oh, this was the tag on it. Junk. Yeah, gee. It's like the meter's been smashed out of it or something. This is gonna be so cool. Shit, pussy. You want me to do it? That was the one I threw out. Think around the problem. So I failed for being smarter than it? Totally. Okay. Get the spider gunk out of your way because I know how much you Spider! Okay, so that's just with your little ticker. It's just it's just a gear reduction. Yeah. Is the part two? Oh, wow. oh, this is this is sexy as hell. Look at oh, that. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Shit. It's That's not designed nice. to turn that fast. Kind of. Ooh. Hang on. Hang it on. smells like rotten eggs. Hang you know, on. like it's supposed to, because it's had you know years and years. Yeah, and years it's of still gas. it's the same thing with the, the air bigger. valve. It's just bigger and sexier. All right, let's uh. Let's take the next level off. We gotta be careful with this because Sam will need to make the gasket. Differences with this one, this one actually is using the housing to support the flap. Whereas the other one was able to hang free. Okay, we're gonna lift straight up. Well, that's okay because we can we can make a box to fit it. And we've got all the parts to make things out of. That is so cool. Oh, there's a second valve under here. There's like a little crankshaft and everything. It's counter. I wonder how fast it turns in use. Well, I feel like this is like, this is our size building. Yeah, it is. Check out how there's like a little room. I wonder where there's a ring there. Maybe you for could... servicing something. Oh, here. Shit, you could do the other side. Given how clean it is inside, it may be a thing where we replace the sides and the top with acrylic pieces.
Scooch is right there. It's got that same gray paint mm -hmm. they use on uh, like pole tables. That gray paint that, that isn't paint. Nasty Schmoo 2000. It's just pure lead. It's, right it's entirely possible given the time frame on this. Works a lot better if you use the. the yeah. See if you put like reduce the fittings down and see if like you can fill a balloon with it. You could <laughs> like it'll it'll pump air. That's cool. Hang on a second. That's a great idea. Oh, it'll almost fit too. Do it. The vacuum's just not quite big enough. No, it's not the vacuum isn't big enough. It's that we're going the wrong way. We gotta. So we gotta blow, All right? You blowing? Give it a shot. It's not going to work because we don't have the top. We need the top in place because this is an air passageway. So it works for half the cycle, but not the other half. Right. Because it needs to go in here and out. So it works on one half of it because the valve's the right spot, but this whole side isn't working at all. It's so beautiful. This one's even better than the other one. Yeah. I think this one would look cool just with the acrylic sides and the top. So it's got art. It's already got the support parts. We got art here. Oh, that's a big that's a big version of the one upstairs, yeah. right? Yeah. That is pretty. DTE gonna call you about this one too? Probably. Yeah, fuck them if they can't take a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my entire opinion on that. I think that's your like life motto. This is it? a 1972 gas meter. There's nothing in here that's classified. There's nothing in here that you can't find on the internet somewhere. So it's I haven't watched the equipment autopsy. Is this internet. effectively creating an electrical current to read out? Is that no, what no, no, no? It reads all the numbers on the top. Yeah, it's all mechanical. This, this oh, it's thing all mechanical. Spins. Okay. The okay. air moving through turns so those this. Are, those are pistons. And uh, well, yes, these are th these are diaphragms. So. Diaphragms. See that spins and that turns the, the counter that would okay. normally be on top. But this one, they're all all the meters are smashed off of them. They're 90 degrees out of phase. Now, why would those be 90? Because remember, it's being driven by the, the, the airbags. Right. Why would they be 90 degrees out of phase as opposed to 180 degrees out of phase? Because otherwise they could end up pushing against each other? No. This is the same reason if you look at a steam locomotive. Okay. One side to the other is always 90 degrees out of phase. It's never like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got It's you. always like this. Yeah, okay. There's a reason for that. Why? That I don't know. It makes it self-starting. If they're 180 degrees out of phase, you can be locked. Oh, okay. Like a kid on a bicycle for the yep, first time. Yup, yup, same thing. So this and steam engines 
are 90 degrees out of phase. For the same reason. Yep. The start Makes block. it self-starting. That's cool. And that comes into, in part, up here, because otherwise you could have the other one on the other side and have yeah. 180 out. And it's still got that, that angular linkage mojo. I like the, uh, the scissor arms, you know. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Sticking your fingers in all the areas. This isn't a first for me. I still have all 10 of my fingers. I think now I'm these, to do this. this is the power yeah. up here. This is what actually moves it. Okay. And down here, this crank is the valving. This is, this is your valve system. Flathead Ford V8. By the way, if you've never seen how a flathead motor works, look. Because my God. I've had a little bit of experience with a quality straight six. My God. The L head design, I don't know how that ever ran. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not necessarily a fan of overhead cam all the time, but we have come a long way. I love the people go up. Well, the internal combustion engine hasn't really changed since 1890 when Mercedes made the first. Yes, it has. Well, it still sucks, squeeze, bang, blow, but how we do that has come a long way. Yeah, the, the, the basic principle. Okay, but we have made eon just levels of change since then. And actually, the exception would be the Wankel oh, motor. Thank you. Moose, Moose is getting art. Hey, it's still not in the IRC, VJ. Still not working. He's working on it, but some crazy German was taking him out of the cage. Still not working. We'll we'll be back. It looks great. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're doing awesome. That I think you're cool there. Okay. Yeah, we just basically want to get all the dust off the outside of the box. Oh. Yeah, just, just a good thorough clean, because if we're going to sell it, we want it to look nice. Right. Yeah, okay, cool. Got to make sure to shine all the uh, contactors up. So Ed is getting everything ready for the big live event tomorrow. Three cameras, you think, huh? Three cameras. Okay. Okay. Your goal is to have everything set up in such a way where you can be totally out of the way of the production crew. I can be up there. That yeah, and then you can do all your switching up there, and because they're going to be all over the place, and yeah, it'll be easy. All right, I believe in you. So, Ed's got live crew. VJ's handling the IRC. Hey, v VJ? The IRC's still not logged in. It's not. It's not working at all. I, I, I can. I can see the whole thing. There's nothing. It's six 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 seven. It's a standard IRC port. Every Weren't you logged on to IRC from here earlier? Yeah, but the Wi-Fi on the machine is flaky. It doesn't always connect. Okay. So you're you're hardwired in somewhere? Yeah, the switch in the uh, NBA switch. You should go back to the Wi-Fi and talk to SecTech via IRC, and then log in there. Because yeah, because you need a port open because it's still not working. Yeah. I'd like to point out it's it's 18, 13 hours and you still haven't got one simple computer on IRC. Okay, that's VJ right there. That's that's hey, all. I'm running cable for Jeff. Okay. So okay. I'm getting that done. Okay. Believe in you. So this is all pretty and clean and emptied out, so we got tons of room for the camera crew in here tomorrow for working on Jeff. Brain salad surgery happening. Are you excited? I'm excited. He's excited. That's the guy. So now you're working on making this one pretty? Yeah. There's a lot. Look at this. It's like... What is that? I'm starting here. Look at that. Oh my. Start on the top and work your way down. But I want to start here. Okay. Let me start here. I believe in you. So sexy. That's so much. Isn't that neat? I want to make, make a, a demo out of there. Just make everything bigger. All right. That is so cool. <laughs> Andrew, did you say a bad word? No, I said several. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not appropriate behavior, Andy. Don't do that. <laughs> Say Andy again. <laughs> Say it again. Terry. <laughs>
This is a really big box for not a lot of stuff. You can't really see it. Well, really. Had, had to match the other side. I hope. Size. Not, not a lot of stuff in there. But what's in there is filthy, and you should take this side off, and you can get ready to just pop these off. And I Batman's got a set of sockets right over there. Have, like homework and stuff. Yeah, this is this is real work. You're, you're getting an engineering degree. You're doing legit engineering. This is cleaning. Okay, it can wait till tomorrow. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, I know you're trying to break. It. There, there will be a lot of standing around tomorrow for various okay. things, so it'll be cool. Uh, Larry Curley and Schmo. I resemble that. What are you guys doing? We have a microphone. You have a microphone. We do. It's because of an unknown make and model. That is a condenser shotgun microphone. Super shotgun. And I can show you exactly where to cram this to get a urethral sound. <laughs> urethral sound. A urethral sound. Yeah. Do you know what a urethral sound is? I think I heard Frank make that one all the time. They make a device used to dilate the as in the urethra. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a metal rod with a rounded end and, and yeah. yeah. Have you ever had an end endoscopy? Not there. Well, well, I, not there. <laughs> I had an endoscopy one time. Me? No, endoscopy means they stick oh, a camera down your okay, throat. Yeah. Okay. The, the other one is the colonoscopy word. Uh -huh. They make we should we should get you an endoscopy and a colonoscopy and see if they can meet in the middle somewhere. Yeah, I don't want to know if that works. That's hell. I'll watch that video. I want to see it when they meet. But I was <laughs> having an endoscopy. And this older male nurse walks in right as they've already pushed in the the drug to knock me out. And okay. I've got this mouth guard in so that I can't clamp down on the camera. And as the world is beginning to fade. He walks in and goes, so, is he getting the one or both ends? And I, at the top of my lungs, screamed, no! But the medicine had already knocked me out, and nothing came out. I woke up going, where is that dude? I'm going to find it. Why is my throat sore? <laughs> it's not the worst thing a proctologist with a sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's he's going over here. He okay. knew what he was doing. He knew that the, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that burst of energy was what it was going to take to knock me out. <laughs> He walked in and went, why is this dude still awake? We have work to do. And I'll tell him a funny. I did not think it was a funny. Such elegant, clean, smooth cable management. I do love the wire tray. That is you wild. like that? that I'm, I'm really proud of that idea. That, yeah. In fact, a friend of mine I had the idea, but Ed and the team made it work. A friend of mine works for Graybar. Okay. And he came through. Well, you saw him, the fire truck guy. Oh, yeah. He came through for the tour. He drives for Graybar. And he took one look at that and went, oh my gosh, because do you know how much wire tray Yeah, costs? I know exactly what wire yeah, tray and costs. And then look at the lure. Yeah. Can you, yeah. Five up. bucks a section. Yeah. Can you it's all five that? bucks. It's a, a, a section's five bucks. One clip is five bucks. The corner's five bucks. The teaser. Yeah. It's all five bucks. It's, and then it's five bucks. Or it's, it's, it's where? Um, yeah, they're like a dollar. In Menards? Yeah? yeah Menards. Oh, price came down. Probably because oh. the sales are so good. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's using a crap we, load of these! When we first did it, they were like five bucks a piece. I'm glad the price has come down, though. That makes me happy. Because we still need a ship. <laughs> oh, yeah, cause oh hey, here, take this. Because there's no more it's wire right. to run around here? I got it. I got it. You got, what the hell is it? Oh, Don't break that. Got it. I need both hands because Chris hey, is man. active. I will respect somebody. Hey, man. It's a good welcome. idea. Now this is cool. This is this makes me happy. Watch this. I can take this battery out of here. Now this is a 12 volt, 18 amp hour, non-spillable. It's a lead acid cell. Okay, right? but sealed. Yeah. Well, it's a lead acid cell, but it says no lead. I think that means don't throw it away because there's lead. Yeah, do not dispose of because of lead. But it's it's a rechargeable, valve regulated lead acid battery, right? Sure. Okay, so. I can put this lead acid battery. It goes under there for spark. And this lipo unit will charge this battery. Safely? Because, or should yes, I be standing safe? back no, farther? No, no, uh, I've yeah, I've, storage charge. So I, I've cool. seen uh, lead oh, acid have a bad doing? day. <laughs> yeah. People think it's funny to post videos of the lipos with the fire about to come out. Lead acid doesn't give you that kind of warning. It's just... You oh, just have uh, a bad day. On this battery charger... Okay. Lipo storage, right? Okay. I can go back and select lipo. 
or damn it, nickel metal, metal halide, halide. hydride, NICAD, lead, yeah, save data, load data, yeah. So I can pick lead, and my amp hours, my chart, everything. I didn't do it. So no, it's Batman clotheslining himself on the. Thing. Oh. Hi. So how do you, you plan to get it through the air hose? So Batman. Uh, I know. Get it over the speaker, please. There we go. Batman. Yeah. I need. You need a pair of banana plugs okay. to oh. alligator clips. Oh. Banana plugs to alligator clips. And if I had that, I could charge that battery with that. So then I'd be cool. I don't really because we have trickle chargers that we can just put these on. But we have we have four of these. Those look like those are for the wheelchair. Were they? I think these are for the wheelchair. I think somebody sent these in. Did we order them in. for the wheelchair? I don't know if we ordered them or somebody sent them in for viewer mail. Hey, there's my tester. Yeah, I don't know. Some, we might have ordered these. Ordered it might be a viewer something. mail thing. I don't know. We got batteries for them. But they're valve regulated. That's a special feature. Yeah. I don't know. Well, that means they're that nice. it has a discharge point instead of the whole thing just exploding and has a valve to pop. <laughs> Here. That's, that's what that means, means they still need a vent tube, though, Here. right? Do, do your thing. We got, we got the little hardware chips. <laughs> what? <laughs> Batman has just now found out that he has a thing. Yeah, I got lots of heroes. It's probably... Oh. It, it, it does. I got two lights, two lights, two lights. Is it sound fine? I'll get two lights. Washer, spike, and washer, washer. Oh, it's pointing out. Okay. Whoosh. Whoosh. Actually, I brought only the one smoosh. It's not far enough for it. I'm not sure to get that out of this. It's not very wrong. You broke the IRC. You still can't get the damn IRC? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! You're flaky. I just saw you run a hard line to it. Why is it still being flaky? I need to suck the back to open the port. Oh my god. You plug the cable into the open port and it'll work. Yes. <laughs> it's the Ethernet port. Quit trying to stick it in the modem port. Oh my word. You're doing it wrong. If you were an American, you'd know how to do it. I'm not American. You're a terrorist. Look at the beard. Dead giveaway. I went to a Trump rally. I know these things. <laughs> Donald you? Trump will lead us to victory and freedom. He's going to make America hate her great again. You, you went to the rally. Were you the supporter or the uh, protester? I'm supporter. We're going to make America great again. Yes. Make, make America treat. great again. Yeah. I love semantics. All right, so this one's done. Excellent. That one's done. Washers, huh? you, can't, you can't do that. Yeah, that's why. Like, Wait a minute. I think I lost one. No, just put it on. They're sticking to each other. Did you find it? Did you find the network? Open, wi open Wi Fi. There's, there's, there's the port right there in the, in the other room. I don't see what's so hard about opening up the port. You're right next to a major network node for the building. As for, for like. This entire wing. Is it working? Well, you should kill some of those user connections. Then. I have a new problem. <laughs> new problem? You're not, you, you couldn't even get the old problem to work. You trying for new problems? No, he got the old problem to work. I and think found... you're overreaching. Found your host name. Oh. He helped. Sure. I found your host name. We did all of the work. I'm going to teach you an acronym the Army taught me at one point. Abcat? CAPE. What's that one? Corrective Action Through Physical Exercise. <laughs> it's the acronym for Drop and Give Me 20. <laughs> oh, I thought like you'd take like an hammer to it. My personal favorite yeah. acronym I learned in the world of aeronautics. It took you long enough, Jesus. CFIT. Can you make a flight into stuff. terrain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Short version of that is rock and <laughs> cloud. Or the uh, so then you become a subject, what we call the subject matter expert on that field. Then I am an authority on controlled yes. flight into terrain. Well, there's okay. Subject matter expert is a lot of what the building does here, where 
you have those who are formally trained, and then you have those who are self-taught. Those are those are what Self, we call self-taught. Well, those trial are trial and error and error and error. error and error. And I have found all the wrong ways to do it. Those become known as subject matter experts. I can do that. I know we can. Uh, look in Studio B. Right in the door to the left. What There's you need, a bunch girlfriend? Of on the floor. Put on that stuff on the stairs and I yeah. have to get stuff. And I noticed we're getting out of the We have ice cream now. Yeah. Check up in the gift shop. We have ice cream. After you fix the internet. Yeah, we're going to lock it down. Tour rules apply, and moderation will be heavy, heavy because this is the IRC will be broadcast in a production video. So yeah, it's kind of a thing. So I should stay logged out. Huh? I should stay logged out. No, you're fine. Okay. Trust you. You're okay. So we got. Trust is a big word. I got a lot of trust. Been a member for 20 years. I got a lot of trust. For you. So we got people in the IRC lose their minds when I tell them I joined in '99. <laughs> it's not this century, not even this millennium. Yeah. Like the, we've got people like oh, I've been a member since you know uh, uh, the Sausage Factory. I've been a member since Sigma Six Labs. Hey, <laughs> he's been a member since I own you. Yeah, I told. In fact, the tour came. Somebody. Anyway, I said that today to somebody here, and they went, so that was the third building, right? And I was like, no, that was like the first. Yeah. The first, the first real... The geek group. Yeah. Before that, it was Gen X. Or, and before that, it was the Bohemian Brothers. Yeah, so it was really the first so, geek were, group facility. We were there when we became the geek group. Yeah. We transitioned when we did this more recreationally than scientifically. Yeah. When, it, when it became a company. Yeah. And well, we, I wrote the first be, business plan. You did. We became an official nonprofit. We started the process back then, but we didn't become, we didn't yeah. complete the process because it takes years and lawyers and thousands. And of course, we oh, knew what we were doing back totally then. Totally experts on nonprofit. We were not flying by the seat of our pants whatsoever. Melissa has a question. She's patiently waiting. No, I'm just watching. Oh, okay. You still need the ladder. Ohio! Yeah. Just watching. I'll put it away. At the end of my day, this is more entertaining. I sent Batman out I don't know if that's sad or good. What? She said at the end of her day, this is more entertaining. And I don't know if that's a... I got, I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> you got a lot. You're just... <laughs> a lot of restraint right now. Nothing but good Christian thoughts at this moment. Mm-hmm. Anybody got a Leatherman on him? Yeah, just set that right across set the terminals. Set that across two batteries. Right across the terminals. Nothing bad can come from you can't that. Hit the terminals. I think we've learned that if there's a way to fail. Oh no, wait, I'm holding the camera, it's safe. If I was on that end of things right now, there'd be sparks. Be fine. So other than wheelchair batteries, is there a, a purpose to these four? Just four generic 12 volt batteries hanging out? We use the hell out of these for robotics. Okay. Because right now we are making just some stunning blogs, so I thought I'd try and... I'm just getting these set up, clean, ready. Ready for action. And I got a nice new light. <laughs> <laughs> that, got, that got a response. <laughs> Come here. Each of these batteries outputs 12 volts. Red is positive, black is negative. That's racist, but that's how they sort. So if you hook wire to wire to wire to wire like that here, you'll get a 12 volt power supply. And what you'll do, this, this has, let's say 20 hours, we'll keep the math easy, okay, 20 amp hours. And that means it'll output 20 amps for one hour, okay, 20 amp hours. Or it'll put out one amp for 20 hours. So you'd have two, four, six, eighty amp hours at twelve volts. If instead you wire them like this in series, okay, connect that and that, you get twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six, forty-eight volts, but only at twenty amp hours. So you can either have more current or more voltage. And this wiring them like this 
they're all in parallel, that's parallel. Wiring them in a row, that would be series. Now you know. So you can just learn something. You guys have fun. That's today's Captain's Blog. We'll be back tomorrow where we learn about the difference. Why are you bugging that dog? <laughs> the only one that can still pick her fat ass up. She's not fat. She's a big dog. She's a big problem. She's a big problem. Big dog. She's a 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 big dog. Have you ever seen this, Jesse? Probably not. Air hose the dog. <laughs> <laughs> right now, everybody with a dentist phobia is just beside themselves. And I want it to All those teeth. I blame you. With the hair dryer? With the hair dryer. She waits patiently. You like the hair the dryer? The <laughs> God, you're weird. Can't you're wait. so weird. It's about time to get the heat filler out. They're at the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what happens with the hair dryer. Oh, God. You can't ever put. No. Vicious, God, vicious weird. killer dog. You're such a weird dog. Yes. Oh. Oh. You guys have fun. That's today's Captain's Blog. We'll be back tomorrow where we will abuse this dog even more. Yes. Poor abused dog. <laughs>